I count them one by one. Mama said it's gonna be alright. Sunnier time will come. Take a bread, it's gonna be alright. Ain't no shortcuts on this flight. Turbulence through the day and night. Holding on, another beautiful composition that will bring inspiration to many. Joining us in studio this morning is one of the contributors, well, let's say two, Marcus Braveroy, of course, artist, and no stranger to the show, and Michael Mulido, who is no stranger to the screen as well. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you so morning. much for having us. It's a pleasure <laughs> to have both of you with us on the show this morning, and especially to discuss this particular piece, which, of course, you would have worked on with Collis Durante as mm -hmm. well, and seeing the positivity particularly in this piece and seeing the streets of our very own capital is really something that is so moving so I think we have to say thank you very much of course for continuing to inspire the arts but I want to know what inspired the quote at the beginning of the video <laughs> no problem at all um, it's a quote by Desmond Tutu right. and this song is really came from the heart I know I gave the background last time but my dad passed away last year yeah. and um, for people who know me you know I'm always smiling I was in yes. a good mood and I think when people sometimes forget as people, human beings, that, you know, there's duality. Mm -hmm. And uh, seeing me with a sad or seeing me talk about being very vulnerable in my musical career has been different. Yeah. Um, so Michael and I decided to highlight that in the video. And especially at the beginning, we, we sometimes we think about the psychology of the viewer. Right. And I think if you start a music video with a quote, you already start that person, you know, that person starts to watch the video with a specific context, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, so the Desmond Tutu quote, we, we went on Google and we... Short story. But we went to but we but went it came from a place <laughs> of... Yeah. Went to a lot of different quotes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of different yeah. quotes. That's but basically what I'm saying. It yeah. really matches. And of course, as you said, yeah. you know, we've been on the show before and he did share the inspiration. And I know it has touched many people's hearts already. Yes, yes. Now, Michael, yeah. we need to bring you into the conversation. Yes, yes. First of all, again, welcome. And as... Um, Marcus just mentioned, you were able to work together on this, but how important was it for you to ensure that our streets of Trinidad mm. and Tobago and just our environments in general reflected what he came up with? Well, of course, we call us. Yeah, so, I mean, when I first heard the, heard the music video, mm -hmm. I just, I love the song and I love how inspiring it was. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I just kind of, when, when you hear the music, you begin to see some of the visuals. And right. for me, I was just seeing the faces that he potentially took into to keep holding on or to give hope to. And I think that is why it was so critical to try and go, because most of it is filmed on Charlotte Street, mm -hmm. and to kind of touch the people and to me that's the heartbeat of the country it a little is. bit. Agreed. And to try and represent a little bit of that, you know, because I, I feel like, you know, when you look at the country, mm -hmm. you know, you want to kind of give people the idea of, you know, hope. So Correct. I think that's what we were really going for. I couldn't agree with you more, and I agree mm. definitely with Charlotte Street, also known as Chinatown, to be you know, politically also correct now. <laughs> um, definitely shows the heartbeats of our people, because many times we do see videos, and we see videos that you know in some ways have definitely become specifically curated and don't show that real, that rawness that mm. we will experience as we, as we say in Trinidad, knock about, mm. or we go up and down Charlotte Street. And that was the beauty of this video in particular, where you can see that these are individuals that you will see on a daily basis who became a part of the conversation how important is it for you to include just the everyday man in your music and their thoughts in your music as well um very important this song has so much sentimental value as I would have mentioned yeah. regarding my dad and at the end of the video I have some um, dedicated to Hilton brave boy nice. and my father was such a man of the people mm -hmm. you know he grew me up that way I, I could um, give an example I went to private school mm -hmm. um, in primary school but he would take me after school to Nelson Street mm -hmm. to play basketball and he hopped, you know, that kind of stuff. So he was a man of the people and I think highlighting that in, in my visuals and passing on his legacy to mine. Yeah. Um, he would have just been so proud, you know. And um, yeah, and, and I, I think, you know, we went to school, all of us went to school in, yeah. in Port of Spain as mm -hmm. well. And one of our favorite pastimes after school was 
walking through town and you know, yeah. Charlotte Street was definitely a, a street that we would have frequented as well. So it is definitely uh, yeah, hustle and bustle is very beautiful. It, it has really, its own beauty to it. It really and, is, yeah. and that's something that we've definitely seen in the video. So Michael, mm -hmm. if you could very briefly, because yeah. we're <laughs> almost out of time, yeah, yeah. just share with us a little bit about how you go through the process of creating a music video. Okay, I mean, firstly, I will have a conversation with the artist. Now, mm -hmm. I might have um, ideas in mind, but I also want to hear from the artist, because I know when they create in a song, they would have their own ideas and thoughts. So we first have that conversation, and then, you know, of course, you go through the budgeting process, but also, I really try to make sure and represent was he the soul of the video. So when I listen to it, it is like, what story are we going to tell? Mm -hmm. And it, and then it's kind of a process of figuring out where you want to do the performance shots, where you might want to, you know, um, how much locations you want, and then we go through this kind of, and then we just schedule it and yeah. go through the day. But I would say to get away from that, that might be a little on the technical side, you really kind of have to go with, like I looked at it like, let's see what, East Port of Spain will give us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's a kind of a, on that side of it, it have a kind of subconscious aspect and a kind of, I want to say even spiritual side mm -hmm. where you're going for that day and it's like, let's see what, what we get, some yeah. of it. And it's to communicate to the people. That's why, because we would have went on Charlie Street the week before we filmed and talked to some of these people. Mm -hmm. So you do that pre-work and then when we came back and they're like, hey, I'll come back. And yeah, and then of course you kind of try to include them and make them part of it and, you know, have that conversation. Nice. So I think a lot of that is what is important about it. And then we went, we filmed um, a Parman. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that was the next kind of community and kind of a, a different setting. Right. And also, we just tried to have fun. Definitely. You know? And yeah, you can see that so. in the video, of course. Um, we know that this is super important to you and we love the fact that this message is being shared. Do you have any closing comments for anybody who's watching right now before we wrap? I think we all go into something in life. Nobody yeah. is exempt to that. So, um, as big up to my boy Collis, um, keep holding on. I mean, sometimes what's interesting is Collis and myself actually use this song for self therapy. Yeah. Because we avoid going through stuff. I know Michael will listen to it as well. So, whatever you're going through right now, just you know, keep holding on. It might feel that you know that that, that light, a positive light is not coming your way or the rainbow is not coming. But after every storm, you know, our rainbow up there. Very true. And any yeah. closing comments for Trinidad and Tobago? I mean, I just want everybody to go and watch the video. Yeah. Hopefully, they enjoy it. <laughs> yes. You know, as much and and see the kind of artistry throughout the song and the music video. Wonderful. Yes. Well, yeah. Michael, Marcus, Can I just say quick, quick rap? hello to my mom. She's a big fan of the oh. show. <laughs> Good morning, mommy. And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us this morning. A big of shout out and love to Collis as well for being part of such an incredible project. And remember, the most important thing that you could do is keep holding on. And keep holding on to the Now Morning Show because we're going to be back after this break. Never you contemplate, look them and tell them straight. Your bed is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Ain't no shot.